Thank you that, uh, that you are inviting me. It's a pleasure for me to first time to be in India. So I heard a lot of things about India, but never have seen it. So it's a wonderful experience for me. And two days ago, I traveling by bus from all this city. One bus, another bus, so I have a wonderful, really natural experience, not as a tourist, but an everyday life. So, you know, uh, this is my book, uh, and I will tell about a traditional modern house painting uh, and everyday life in wood. It's really everything because this text does, does matter uh, for you because I will tell in English. I read a little bit and then I will show all these slides, all my books. You can imagine what is it in North of Russia. Uh, so, uh, paintings of wood, surface, and interior is one of the most important forms of folk art in the Russia, both in Ural region, which is the center of Russia, Siberia, and Russian North. Russian North, when I said it's near the White Sea. Paintings or facade and interiors of peasant house were much spread. Uh, it's in the 19th century only button walls were decorated with paintings, but use of button and peasant construction spread 19th century at earliest. Uh, the earliest painting of the peasant, peasant house in Russia and the north of Russia uh, are mentioned in uh, the resources of 17th century, but we haven't any buildings with, with wood, except maybe church. Some of them it's, uh, exist with the uh, drawings. Uh, both facade and interior church buildings was also decorated with drawings. Uh, colorful paintings decorated facade, fronton of the wooden houses, so-called buttoned hemming, uh, of pendant roofing and balcony base, shooters and outside ar uh, architraves. Interiors were decorated with drawings, uh, especially of the stove, movable uh, pieces of furniture, cupboards, and in some case doors and walls. A peasant artist decorated this stuff a lot, you, you will see it now, boxed uh, star, uh, stuff bow, uh, bows, and even cemetery wooden crosses. Sometimes they both produced tools and then covered them with paintings. That is why paintings of the northern pe um, peasant home is different part of the regions for uh, interrelated style complexes. The same artist often decorated interior elements of local wooden church or chapels just a beam for the ceiling panels of our heaven and of the iconostas of the door or portal. There are apparent parallel between peasant paintings from Russia and those of the Northern Europe countries, Sweden, Norway, Finland, Denmark, and so on. A similar, a similar, similar, similar uh, geographical condition, history, and culture, and trading contacts with this area produced common traits in the form of peasant. Uh, but it's a special subject kind of connecting. And another point which I'd like to tell and then I will show you. Uh, technically, it was based on the three brush touch and applications of white control lines. That three and easy style of painting, bright uh, coloring together with technical virtuosity is uh, the most um, interesting features of the form of the folk art. In addition, artist workshops on the region produced illuminated manuscripts, icon, pictures, painted furniture, and they use some time, you know, we have a trading with a different European country, and they, you will see now some drawings, some uh, elements from the England uh, dishes. We have a lot. Uh, that is manner, manner a lot. So, I'd like to continue now to show you. This is my book because it's <coughs> more easy to show you what I published it's, uh, three years ago, but I study this uh, dwelling house during 20, 25 years because it's the biggest territory. So it's uh, uh, drawings of uh, wooden uh, houses in the Russian north. Uh, what is it Russian north? You know, it's uh, just to show you some uh, ideas about that. This is this is, it's, there is no stick, unfortunately, you know. Therefore, I will show you this is. White Sea, White Sea. 
and this is town this uh, this is town Arhangelsk this is Vologda and Moscow somewhere else so you can imagine in 1000 kilometers uh, north uh, to the, from the Moscow and I'm traveling a lot and territory which I describe uh, approximately to Frances so don't think that it's so easy to traveling here anyway uh, what is for me important to show to everywhere, every time, for every country, every region, I must tell, that every territory has his own historical and culture re regions. Uh, therefore, here, when I study wooden architecture, dwelling house mainly, there are old drawings, by the way, it's mine, you see over there from the right side. Uh, and uh, we have here, uh, in this territory, five mainly historical zones. And every zone in every of that has their own church, their own type of the church, own language, even in the Russian language, own dwelling house, construction, and I studied during for a long time. I will show you some of them from the west. We are moving from the west to the east countries, of this part of these countries. Don't forget Russia, it's quite more than we show. This is a uh, west part where there are a lot of uh, lakes, a lot of different nationality lives here. And therefore, there are special uh, way of life, of course, and there are a lot of chapels. And there is uh, some church, which is I have shown you here, had uh, um, this is drawings. It's the porch. And under it is the ceiling of this porch uh, before the entrance with the drawings. There are a lot of chapels. There were, the thing is that is the distance, the biggest distance between villages. If uh, in Europe, for example, we have between the uh, towns 30 kilometers, in my country, between small towns, we have 300 kilometers. Therefore, in every village, and every, because this is big a lake, very famous national park now, and therefore every village built their own chapel. Uh, and chapel is very important for the people. Uh, it's uh, the center of uh, historical, not only historical places, as a symbol of uh, everyday life, everything happening around that. So we can find here special type of drawings. You can see this is windows with decoration, which spe special of it. Uh, and every area, as I said, Every interesting, this is uh, dresses, and what, uh, what for me is interesting now, we discussed not only today, it's my new idea which has continued slowly, how we can use the historical and tradition ideas and tradition elements in every region to continue today. It's very difficult to manage it, because we can see that uh, I was restored before, uh, we restore monuments, but we cannot build in a traditional way in different region new architecture. And now we started to, to manage it. This is, you can see, for example, it's the beginning 20th century. And you, 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 you should understand that it's style modern, modern, or secession, or art nouveau, as you call, um, in, even in this village. So, they, because they have a lot of tradition. Uh, situated now in my country not so well for the villages disappear they are all of them mainly all of them uh, around uh, all these chapels uh, empty practically and this uh, village which I can show this one lived only two people and empty 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 everything is empty now so many things we can find just in museums as well another territory it's Pavarja there is, you see, another landscape. Another, this is hills, a lot of chapels inside of it. And the fourth is a beautiful place. And in this region, we can find a special family. And you can, if you compare at a quite different church, I said already, I don't like to repeat it again, but with the domes, which we can find only here, not somewhere else. And uh, there are some family, artist family, local family, uh, uh, there were trees of family. All of them was were artists. So it's uh, we can find it. Uh, we are sure. I am sure. I cannot uh, resources for that. That their family had contact with the uh, exactly the 
worked in St. Petersburg for Tsar family, family of the Tsar, and therefore they can br could br bring this uh, uh, idea of these painters, of these portraits and uh, everything about everyday life here, or portraits, for example, here is this Tsar family. So they had in contact, and this is Randy, as you see. So it's everyday life, they have shown it. Uh, mm, or sometimes in this, this disappear. Already all of this building disappear. Some of these uh, painters uh, exist only in museum, which we, we brought to the museum Mali Karelo, which I have done. So this is interesting. This is symbol. You see uh, lion and unicorn on this uh, and the balcony. And the trees. Uh, trees, you know, with a special type we discuss about because the, today the year of the trees, of the forest, trees in the uh, vase zone. It's, you know, it's everywhere in the whole world, in Europe, we can see it and we call it, of course, trees of life. So it's a symbol for healthy and uh, for uh, other wonderful be um, uh, life. And this is, we can see, as you see, two portraits. Uh, um, master and his wife, which is really interesting <coughs> with the pipe. So it's symbol they protected these buildings. Another some panels inside we, we can see with the people who is have a pipe, and this is drinking for the festivity online. Line is a symbol as here, as everywhere we can find a symbol which is protected to the uh, houses. So this is unique buildings look like I must. I'm sure from the West um, countries and mainly maybe in Austria as well. I said uh, many times about that. I discussed about this building somewhere in Austria in some meeting. And church, uh, not uh, the furniture uh, was um, um, covering by some different, uh, and you see the um, doors and so on. Another area, it's uh, uh, from now I will show you. It's uh, North Dvina, Severna Dvina, North Dvina, the biggest river, which is main uh, uh, main river of the uh, this part of Russia, uh, and therefore we can find another church, which is really we called Pagost, which is meaning two church for winter and for summer, for winter of course it's uh, with a brick, and uh, this one uh, with three. Uh, but it's uh, for and should be a um, bell tower, but it's, it's not exist anyway uh, now, but it was. It's flat, there is no any, it's another landscape as you see. But inside of it, it's very interesting, um, uh, interesting uh, not only decoration, you can see here the special type of the roof uh, without any noise, uh, without just to um, connecting uh, everything without noise, and inside of it you can see different, uh, exactly different painters. This is the symbol, symbol, uh, this builds the symbol of the um, life for everywhere, and uh, this is was uh, presented, these details to the, for people for, who, who is marriage. So this is the uh, horses which is bring to the wonderful life in your future when you are married. Hmm? They believe in it. So this is interior, very important, interesting. I'd like to show you, describe a little bit, you know. This is through, through if you entrance inside. You come inside, this is the boxes, yeah? This is panel, uh, this is stove. You come inside, this is place special for wash, washing, <coughs> yes. This is staircase under the, uh, under the floor to the cellar. Another door, to, this is a door, and this is a door, uh, the, the staircase to the stove, and this is under the door, to cellar. And you come around, you will see that the stove is closed as well. So there's this unique situation which we can really use today, even if we haven't uh, a, mm, a place in the room, for example. I did very interesting and very important. And everything was, as you see, covering uh, and the um, table and uh, everything and chairs and so on so on this different color so we have seen uh, this is uh, even we have the stove uh, with the um, stove on the this corner I cannot it just doesn't work I don't know why anyway 
stop with the ties. Special type of the ties which made in um, North Russia. Yeah, this is, you know, it's important. It's, uh, uh, its idea is bring to um, its uh, heaven. It's, uh, uh, what is it? You know, this one. And different animals lived here. And the flowers and the drawings. It's fantastic. And again, this is uh, trees for the life with the uh, sitting here. So it's wonderful. This uh, interesting, uh, this is uh, idea of this building. Um, after when my book was published, it's <laughs> rather interesting. One private person uh, bought this building and brought not so far from the Moscow. Now it exists not so from the Moscow. So I should be very quickly because time is over. And uh, it is another area which is uh, in the east part, uh, which uh, look like for another way. Another church, as I see, this is a unique church which is, exists, should exist in, um, in our museum. And there is very simple uh, decoration, just look like for chairs, but decoration of different part of it is very wonderful. And uh, for example, balcony and other things. And uh, this is my privilege area, and my, my tell, I must tell, this is my privilege drawings. I think, I'm sure that architects, it's necessary to have a drawings, not only computer, photo, or s to do some films, because through the drawings you can understand space, and you can walk exactly, and filling the not only space, but uh, milieu, or environment, and so on, and you can built better than before. And what we can see around, people use the computer, but they cannot drawings. So my idea, I always push about that. So, so you can see this is wonderful territory. And this is village, uh, very well done. Now it's uh, look like for the open air museum, people doing themselves, not so many people, but the local people started to do it. And therefore, there is special, um, exactly, not on special, this is, you know, crosses. It's not, uh, it is not the, the cemetery. It is a very interesting idea. It's five high uh, meters, uh, these crosses as a symbol everywhere. We can find it many, many things. For example, <coughs> here, uh, special for some, uh, some ideas. For example, somebody, uh, uh, somebody, for example, no, it's a cross the same as Europe. If, um, for example, a, a lot of people died, it was, um, I don't know what it's happening, but it's a symbol of uh, a life. If the people are alive, they built it. Or the memory for somebody else. So, and sometimes they had a wonderful decoration and um, covering. This is unique buildings. Two years ago, we um, we brought it to the opening museum because uh, people died, nobody cared about that. And this is buildings, very interesting. We dis uh, this is a panel which is situated between kitchen and uh, kitchen and um, main room. So we brought it to this um, opening museum now. Very interesting that idea which we can see inside. I discussed about that and this is very interesting. The symbol again or some animals, and again, this uh, line, uh, two lines, she and he. And uh, sometimes it should be unicorn. Of course, it came from England, not from, uh, from our idea. Anyway, and a lot of different birds you can find here. This just I show, this is um, Sweden. Uh, it's uh, Skansen Museum, which is very important, you know, and another one. And uh, there are a lot of and different co colors and different paintings. But anyway, I think it's very important to compare different cultures in this area. Thank you. That's all. Oh, yes, I forget.